life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Exciting times at the Red Horse Ranch. Alabam lost out in his skirmish with Steve Bradford when one of Bradford's henchmen slipped up from behind and knocked him out. While Alabam lay in the back of the Danville Saloon, rustlers rode up in the night, driving away what was left of the Red Horse herd. There's still no news from Alabam back at the ranch. We join the boys in the bunkhouse. in your boots, I'd forget about that banjo and join us in this little job over here. Gosh, what you doing, Idaho? Oh, just a little chore of cleaning the barrel of this gun. There's plenty more hot lead going through it before another day goes by. I guess Dad Carter thinks we're a bunch of yearlings, letting rustlers come right up here to the ranch and drive off every blamed critter in the herd. We'll bring them back, dang pronto, too. No use holding ourselves down no longer. Well, they can't say we didn't put up a fight last night. They rode their trail till near daylight. Oh, we'll get them. They can't drive them red horse cattle very far today. I guess there wasn't nothing else we could do against all that mob last night. With Alabama gone and them having us outnumbered besides. Bob, I'm taking the blame with all the rest of you. They licked us, but they're not going to do it again. Well, what do you suppose we better do about Alabama? I don't know. My idea is that after Tenderfoot left him in Danville last night, Alabama was ambushed and either shot or captured, just to make sure there wasn't no hitch in their plans to rustle off them cattle. I don't see how much more could happen to this old ranch. Would be this year when Dad's so hard up for money. Ain't no chance of him holding out no longer. Yeah, and Bradford's behind this somehow. Boys, the less talking we do and the more riding, the better I'm gonna feel. 
Oh, come on in, Dad. Anything new, Mr. Carter? Nothing more, boys. I don't suppose you've had any word of Alabama? No. It don't look like there's no use of expecting for a while. No. Well, boys, I, I want to thank you for putting up the fight you did last night. Too bad Alabama had to be gone. Well, it wasn't nothing to what we're going to put up, boss. Idaho, first we must find Alabama. He may be needing us. If he's not past needing help. If I only knew that Tenderfoot had told me everything, uh, where is he now? Well, last I saw Tenderfoot, he was wandering around down at the corral. I think that's him coming up from the barn there now. I'm going to talk with him a little more. But, boys, uh, you have your horses all saddled and ready. Uh, if anything turns up, we don't want to lose any time. Well, they're all ready now, Mr. Carter. Uh, that's good. Now, don't wander away from the bunkhouse, will you, till I get back. Staying here ain't going to be easy. Well, boys, suppose we sing a little while we wait. Uh, remember Lonely Valley? All right, it's oh, a good one. Mr. Carter, you want to talk to me? Tenderfoot, listen. Are you sure that you told me everything you remember about what happened last night? Yes, I... Uh, why didn't you stay in town with Alabama? Well, uh, did he tell you to leave Danville ahead of him? Yes, Mr. Carter. I didn't want to, but well, he said he'd be along later. Now, why did he want to be there alone? Why, uh, well, he said there was a man he wanted to talk to. I'm afraid I can't tell you any more, Mr. Carter. Hmm. Just where did you leave him in town? Well, I can't quite remember. I, I think in front of the saloon or... Listen, my boy. If there's anything in the world you've been holding back, you've got to tell me now, no matter what it is. It may save Alabama's life. Yes, Mr. Carter. Now, I understand. Let's get back to the rest of the boys, and we all may be riding before long. Feeling all right, Tenderfoot? Sure. I'm all right. You better both lay down on the bunk for a little while. Mr. Carter, you look pretty tuckered out. I'm only worried, boys. Be worried. Worried. Oh, uh, you go ahead and rest yourself. You'll feel better. Sing something, Tex. All right. The cattle, cattle, proud, howls, howls, howl, out on the great divide. Never done any wrong, just singing a song Down the trail I ride Rattlesnake rattle at the prey door You hear the mournful tune Round up time away out west When the cactus is in bloom Daylight comes and the cowhands yell Call out every man Throw my saddle on my old cow horse I drank my coffee from a can Days away, then I'll be back soon. Round up time away out west when the cactus is in bloom. Sun goes down on the cattle trail, and I'm gazing at them all. Round up time away out west when you hear them cattle call. Thank you, picture, thank you a lot. That you come that you coming in? Yes, Dad. Dad. Hasn't anyone heard from Alabama? No, yet? I'm afraid not, daughter. Come on, boy and boys, I ride out and see, see what we can find. Let me ride with, ride with you, please. Please. I wanna help. All right, all right. I'll have Bob Sand Prince for you. I guess I'll 
getting getting his horse ready now. Oh, it comes now. Why, Bob, what's happened? Well, I, I, I reckon it ain't for you to hear, Rose, but Alabama's horse... You mean Red? You've seen him? That's right. He's back in the now. I oh. just saw him come in. Yeah. Where's Alabama? Alabama with him? I can't tell you that. Something really funny about that, too, Mr. Carter. Red's got marks. Marks, oh. And he's wet from running. Oh, Alabama wouldn't have Red or run him like that for any reason. That's what I'm thinking. Seems to me somebody else tried to ride Red and was lucky. You know how that horse is about letting anyone to Alabama strap him? Oh, I know. Sounds like we'd better get moving, don't it? Yeah. All right, boys. Now you get to your horses and I'll dip the horse. I'll give you instructions. Yes, right. Oh, look. Look, here comes Steve Bradford. Bradford? Mm -hmm. hey, hey, he must be one help. Good morning, Bradford. Good morning, Mr. Carter. Whoa. I heard about that trouble last night, and I'm terribly sorry to know you lost all the rest of your herd. Steve, it isn't just that. It's Alabama. He went to Danville yesterday. I can't Red just came in without him. Oh. Well, uh, now, if you really want to know where Alabama is, I think I can tell you that. You, you, you've seen Alabama? You know where I've got a pretty good idea, Mr. Carter. The last time I saw him was in Danville Saloon. He seemed to be drinking quite a lot. Oh, no. Alabama couldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Rope. I wouldn't worry too much about Alabama. He'll be along as soon as he sobers up. Well, I'll see you later. Get out. Well, I still don't see. Oh, Steve must have been mistaken. Carter, we're ready to go. Get off your horses, boys. We're not going. What? 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 what do you mean, Mr. Carter? I heard something about Alabama. I'm afraid I have. Ten to foot? Yes. Did you saw Alabama going to Danville Saloon last night? Why, Mr. Carter, I'm not just sure. You did go over that way, but... That's enough. Take your horses back, boys. But, Dad, what about Alabama? Alabama can take care of himself. But, Mr. Carter, if Alabama's been hurt... You boys have my orders not to leave this ranch. Steve Bradford told Mr. Carter quite a story, didn't he? It's too bad Dad Carter doesn't yet know the truth. There's bound to be more excitement before all this is over, so be sure to listen 